Let's uh, move on to those other teams. Let's move on to the other teams. Where are we going? We're going to Louisiana. Lafayette, the old Lafayette. You got it. Their website still says Louisiana Lafayette. Does it really? That's where I, I Googled it, and that's the first thing that came Wow, out. that's crazy. Raging uh, Cajuns. Louisiana Raging Cajuns. Look, I love Billy Napier. I was just about to say, he might he's my favorite coach on this half of the conference. He might be my favorite coach in this conference. Well, I, I'll tell you this. He coached under Dabo. He coached under Saban. The guy can recruit. Um, look, they went seven and seven last year in his first season, five and three in conference. Uh, they lost the conference championship game. They lost the bowl game to Tulane, the Cure Bowl. Returning starters, they got eight on offense, seven on defense. As far as experience goes, number fifteen in the country, number four in this conference, which is just bonkers. Like <laughs> God. Fifteenth uh, in the country, some about you'd think it'd be number one or two. No, nope, they nope. don't make top three. From 2016 through 2018, Louisiana, or ULL, or whatever, uh, but Louisiana signed 16 three-stars in three seasons. In 2019, they signed 22. Yep. He got that thing rolling. Right. So they've got talent. they got three returning running backs, uh, Trey Regus, Elijah Mitchell, Raymond Calais. They accounted for over 3,500 yards and 33 touchdowns last year. That offense will be absolutely rolling. Uh, yes, they they lose quarterback Andre Nunez. His heir apparent, Levi Lewis, has a ton of competition. But this offense doesn't really rely on a quarterback. Like, it's it's kind of what he learned under Saban, where kind of game manager and let everybody else I was just about do to what say, they do. Don't turn the ball over. Number 97 <laughs> total defense last year, but should be better. They got seven starters and a ton of experience back. Uh, I think I think this team gets better. It's close to having them win this conference. But I, I will tell you this. Arkansas State game, that's why. Well, they their schedule sets up not nearly as good as Arkansas State. Oh, no, not close. And this and that's that's where I'm coming in. This is yep. still year two. It is still a rebuild. Yeah, they brought in 22 three-stars in 2019, but – they, it, they're still new. Well, they're yeah. They're if especially when they're freshmen, that's tough. The only time you bring a bunch of new kids in, and I like those, is if the, the JUCOs. Cause, yeah, because they're older. I mean, yeah. those, you've got eighteen they, year olds but, playing against twenty year olds, and at that point in time, those two years of working out, training, playing football, and experience are just they, they mean a lot. So as far as the schedule goes, they open up with a game against Mississippi State in the Superdome, which is kind of cool. That that is a that's gonna be a fun that's, place to that's play. That's definitely cool. Uh, then they've got Liberty. Mister Hugh Freeze comes into town. That's gonna be a tougher game. That it's the it's another it's another non conference loss that I think I got them at. Well, now I've got them winning that one, um, but only because it's at home. Yeah, you know, it's, it's just a coin flip game. For yeah, me. coin coin flip game. Uh, Texas Southern after that at Ohio. I've actually got them beating Ohio. Like I, you and I talked about, I've got Ohio going ten and two. But this is one of their losses. I think this is one of their. I think Ohio coming down like in September to oh, Lafayette. Yeah. That's like, right. I think that's. I think that's a win there. That's right. And then you go at Georgia Southern. I think that's a loss. You got a bye, and then App State at Arkansas State. I think they lose both of those. You got another bye, and then I think they start to roll off some wins here. Texas State at Coastal Carolina at South Alabama, Troy and Louisiana Monroe. There, I think they will lose. To Troy. Well, I've got them losing to Troy. It could be Troy or ULM, That's right. That's one right. or the other. Uh, but I've got them at seven and five and four and four in the conference, and I think they could be improved off of last season and still have a seven and five record. I completely agree. I got a seven and five as well. And and so like. You and I don't talk. We don't talk at all before we come in to record these, and we have had. Very similar records. We're, we're close. So here's my logic on those three. You got three non conference games in um, Mississippi State, Mississippi State Liberty, one. Liberty and, 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 Ohio. and Ohio. And my thought process is I, I think they're getting away with one of those wins, definitely. And I just talked about Ohio coming down to Lafayette. Yeah. It's actually Louisiana going to Ohio. Ohio. Um, I still think they get that win. It, but, but I don't like know I said, why. I think they're going to win one of those games. I, what well, I mean, we assume they're going to lose Mississippi State. Yeah. I think the other two, I don't think they get they get beaten by both of them. I don't know which game they're going to win. 
But okay. I don't I don't see I think this is a really well coached team. I don't think they're gonna lose to two non conference opponents that are of equal caliber of them. I'm yeah, saying think, that really badly. That they, I don't yeah. know how to phrase that or word. No, no, that. no. I, I see what you're saying. Like there's saying. there's clumps of teams that I think are all the same that they're gonna play in like the same sphere and the same level of play. And and I I think they'll win some, I'll think they'll lose some. This is why I'm really bad at the they'll win this game, they'll lose this game. It's they're going to play these three games. I think they'll lose two of them. And that's yeah. kind of how yeah. I look at the world and, and these teams. I st- I still really like this coach. Yeah. I like what they're doing. I really – I kind of went into this not looking at the schedule, just thinking, all right, I'm going to have them win in this division. Yeah. And I was kind of shocked when I looked back and said, maybe, I got, maybe I I got Arkansas State. I got Arkansas State by one one game, and it's that game. If If everything folds the way I think it will, and they beat Arkansas State. They they'll win this conference. They'll be eight and four, and Arkansas State will be seven and five. Yeah, I could I could see that. That's how math works. That is exactly how math works. <laughs> All right, we'll All get right. out of there. All right, so uh, the so other, I've, we both got them seven and five. I've got them, team. I've got them four and four as far as their conference record, um, which is two games worse than Arkansas State. But if they beat Arkansas State, that would put them at five and three, and put Arkansas State at five and three, and then. They have the tiebreaker. They would have the tiebreaker. So, yeah, that's the way uh, you're right. Math works. 